the MSET results have come and the counseling schedule is also announced. For the past one week, I have been getting a lot of requests from parents and also students regarding listing of colleges in the order of preference they should go for. So, it is very popular for people to rank engineering colleges top 10, top 20, top 30, top 50, etc., etc. However, there is no perfect system to rank colleges. There are various YouTube videos on this, various uh, organizations which have done, including Government of India, NIRF ranking is also there. However, all of them have some limitations. NIRF ranking, for example, all colleges are not covered. And the parameters that are used in the college, in the ranking, also suffer from some imperfections. But I understand the concern of parents. There needs to be a starting point so that parents have some kind of indication, students and parents have some kind of indication as to where the colleges lie. Especially in uh, Telangana where there are so many engineering colleges and there are so many chain engineering colleges. In the same group, there are several colleges, Malla Reddy, there are so many of them, alright. So, there needs to be some kind of an indication. So, I have done this in the past. Uh, last year, for example, we made a video on top 30 engineering colleges. So, what I did at that point of time was, I looked at computer science, closing rank and uh, sorted colleges on the basis of the closing ranks. Uh, however, there was a problem there because uh, I considered only boys and uh, in the top 50, there are several girls colleges only. So, what I have done this year is that I have included, I have taken basically for my sorting, I have taken the list of colleges on the basis of the closing ranks of computer science under the girls quota. Again, let me warn you that this also has, is not perfect because girls quota is subject, there are limited number of girls seats in colleges and there may be some spikes either way. If one girl with a lower rank gets in, that college rank will change. So, what I have done this year is, I have given top 10 ranks and beyond 10, I group them into certain categories. So, within, the, within each of those groups, there is very little difference among the colleges. So, you will have to apply other parameters to decide which college is better for you. And there are other parameters also. We have done number of videos on how to choose your college and branch in the past. So, these things include obviously the placements in that particular college the quality of faculty in that particular college, feedback from students, feedback from parents from that particular college, the location of the college. It is very important because the college needs to be close to you because otherwise you will be wasting, spending a lot of time traveling to and fro and in some cases it becomes important. So, that uh, the quality of projects that are done by the college, all of this, there are several factors. So, there is some homework that the student and the parents have to do and the time that is available now for you before you give your web options, you can use this time to go and check for yourself. And I always advise parents, barring the top 10, if you are looking from 11th onwards, you should definitely visit the colleges. You see likely where your child will get in, say shortlist about 5 or 6 colleges. And please visit those five, six colleges. The colleges will be more than willing to share with you information. They will give you all kind of information. So, you go there, talk to them, find out for yourself whether your child will be comfortable or not. This is the small investment in time that every parent has to make. So, without further ado, let me start off with the ranking. So, let us have this here. What I have done is, I have given only the code because the codes are important. Alright. Remember, 
the codes are very very important while you are exercising your web options option entry codes are important you have to doubly check the codes once twice thrice because similar kind of co codes will lead to different kinds of colleges and there are law in the past students have made blunders while giving the web option so to make you get used to the codes i have given only codes not the names of the colleges here okay obviously starts with jntu h that is uh, jntu campus college ouc ou college of engineering uh, at 2 at number 3 is cbit uh, number 4 is vasavi number 5 is vnr vgit so 1 to 5 i don't think there is any dispute everybody will agree with this kind of a ranking whatever be your criteria now sixth is uh, remember sixth is narayanama g n t w narayanama please remember that code so if you are keen on narayanama the code that you need to use is g n t w there is another co code by g n i t g n i t stands for guru nanak so last year there was a girl who wanted to give g n t w but uh, who wanted narayanama but instead of entering GNTW, she entered GNIT and she got it. So, there is a problem there. So, just be careful in terms of the codes. They are misleading. So, you should know what code you are talking about. GRRR is Gokaraju Rangaraju. CVRH is CVR. Uh, next is Vardhaman. Vardhaman is a surprise inclusion this year in the top 10 list. Last year, there was a lot of demand for Vardhaman and understandably so, it is doing well. So, Vardhaman is at 9 and then Srinidhi at 10. So, more or less, the I do not think there should be any controversy or dispute about the top 10 colleges here. But top 10 per se does not make any sense. Just look at the others also. So, from now on, what I have done is from 11th onwards, I have grouped them into certain categories. So, 11 to 17 all fall under this category. Among them, there is very little difference. So, you will have to apply other criteria to give your web options. So, what do I have? 11 to 17 here. MGIT is there. Then, uh, Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technology. Then, JNTU Sultanpur. Now, JNTU has got a number of campuses in the districts. Uh, this is Sultanpur, uh, close to us, Sangareddy. But remember that Whenever I am talking about JNTU, there are a particular set of parents who would prefer a government college. So, you will have to see whether that applies to you because other than JNTU H and to an extent JNT, JNTS, Sultanpur, the rest are located in the districts and I do not think that is the best place for an engineering college to study because the exposure will be limited, placement opportunities also will be limited. So, you got to take that into consideration based on what kind of plan that you have for your child or the student what kind of plan you have for yourself all right so that is something that you need to consider because if you think placements are important then i would suggest that you you look at some city based college but if you think that you've got other plans like for example you want to go for a government job you want to write gate and do mtech or you want to go for civil services uh, you can look at a government college then MVSR is there, JNKR. Now, JNKR is JNTU Jagityal, which was started in 2007. Okay. So, whatever I told you about J government colleges, specifically JNTU colleges in the districts applies to this also. BVRI, that is BV Raju uh, Institute of Technology and BVRW is BV Raju College for Women. Then KMIT, K Kesha Memorial Institute of Technology. So, all of them are in the next best 11 to 17 okay next 18 to 27 let's look at that 18 to 27 institute of aeronautical engineering so the name is a little misleading a lot of people think instead of aeronautical engineering it is only for aeronautics for all practical purposes it is like any other engineering college with all kinds of branches starting with CSE. so instead of aeronautical engineering cvsr cvsr is the anurag group Kids Warangal, JNTM, another JNTU college, JNTM, JNT, uh, JNTU at Manthani. MECS is Matrushri. CMRK is CMR College of Engineering and Technology. There are a lot of 
CMR colleges. Among them, CMRK is the top. So, CMR College of Engineering and Technology. NGIT is Neil Gokta Institute of Technology. Then, uh, KUWL is KU College of Engineering and Technology. Then, uh, BREW is Bojredi and JBIT. So, these are in the 18 to 27. Again, there is very little to choose among these colleges. You've got to apply other criteria to decide on your order of preference. Then 28 to 41 is a big chunk. There are a lot of colleges in this. Okay. So, uh, all of these things, they are almost similar. You got to see what is best for you based on your own specific individual conditions, your own criteria and what kind of weightages you would assign to each of those criteria. Okay. So, and, and you need to do, and all of these colleges, you need to visit them. If you are looking at these colleges, if you are looking at a set of, or a small subset of these colleges, you got to visit them for yourself and check up how these colleges are. So, let us look at them. GNIT, as I told you already, GNIT is not Narayanama, it is Guru Nanak, GNIT, please remember that. Okay, GLDWC is Gokaraj Lelavati, um, Women's College. So, it's a women's college, it's for girls. KUCU is uh, K, uh, um, Kakadiya University College of Engineering. MLRS is Murray Lakshman Reddy Institute of Technology. MLRS, please remember, is Mali, uh, Murray Lakshman Reddy Institute of Technology. MREC is Malaredi Engineering College. So, there are a lot of uh, colleges under the Malaredi group. So, you got to be very careful about the codes. MREC is Malaredi Engineering College. MLID is MLR, MLR Institute of Technology. MRCW is Malaredi Engineering College for Women. VJIT is Vidya Jyoti. Then we have CMR, CMRM. CMRM is CM, CMR Institute of Technology. KM, KMEC is a Kesha Memorial Engineering College. And when I talk about KMEC, Please don't get confused with KMCE, which is Khadar Memorial Engineering College located in uh, Nalgonda. I am talking about KMEC. So, the codes are important. KMEC, uh, VBIT, Vignan Bharati. KMSE is the latest addition to the Kesha Memorial group of institutions. Where it has KMIT, NGIT and now KMEC. All right. VBIT is Vignan Bharati Institute of Technology. MLRD is Malaredi College of Engineering Technology. GCTC is Gitanjali College of Engineering and Technology. So, Gitanjali College is also a very good engineering college. In fact, it should be in the previous category. But uh, as I told you, the closing ranks are very misleading because what happens with the closing ranks is parents are guided by the closing ranks of the previous years and give their options. So, even if there is a change in the college, the, even if their college position has improved, People go by the previous years and therefore the biases continue. But I would suggest Gutanjali Engineering College for a number of reasons is a good college. So, you should be looking at it seriously. Guru is uh, actually uh, Guru Nanak again, Guru Nanak Technical Campus. It's called Guru Nanak Technical Campus. So, that is about the colleges in the 28 to 41 category. All of them are almost close. So, there is not much of difference. You got to apply your own criteria to decide which is better for you and decide on the options. And then finally, 42 to 50, 42 to 50 is uh, CMRG, which is CMR Technical Campus. Then uh, STLW Stanley. And I think Stanley is there uh, in the top 50 primarily because of its location. And for girls, uh, obviously, something which is located within the heart of the city, it makes a difference and I think Stanley is there because of that. MRIT is um, Malaredi Institute of Technology and Science. VGNT, Vignan Institute of Technology and Science at Deshmukhi. St. Martin, MRTN is St. Martin. Sri Hindu, uh, INDU is Sri Hindu. Uh, TKRC is TKR College of Engineering and Technology. JNTR is uh, JNTU College, Sirsela. Please remember, this was started only in last year, 21-22. Again, as I told you, there are, there are a set of parents who prefer government colleges for their own reasons. So, 
So, its inclusion here should not bias you, uh, you should apply your own criteria and if you ask me, I would not prefer this college because it was just started last year, they do not even have a, uh, their own campus, uh, forget about placement and other things. So, if there is a better city based college, I think you should look at that. And then finally, Hyderabad Institute of Technology and Management. Again, as I told you in the beginning, uh, this listing is not perfect by any chance. It is only a starting point. It gives you a starting point. There are some colleges like AS, etc., which are not there in the top 50, as I told you, because they do not figure in the closing ranks, but they are somewhere there. Okay, if you look at 50 to 55, they'll, these colleges will be there. So, uh, what I would suggest is use this as a starting point. See shortlist four or five colleges. Do some research on those four or five colleges, and uh, then give your web options. Remember, this is a very important exercise. You can't take it casually. The child's future depends on it. So, it is worth investing some time. If you still have any questions. Please post those questions in the comment section. Our team will get back to you as soon as possible. All the best for your web counseling. We will do a series of uh, videos on web counseling, and uh, I think most of the concerns that you have will be addressed in these videos. All the best.